Peace, everybody. Thomas Amar with a special edition of Conversation Corner. What a pleasure and a joy to have the opportunity to just constantly talk and value, give value-driven um, videos and conversations that I'm able to have. And, and I know it's having an effect because people are coming to me on a regular basis saying how um, the things that I found that I've been able to share to them to where they could understand it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying anything that's any special or any different than what other people that have been saying for years. It's just for whatever reason, with the law of attraction, the people are able to recognize um, these particular concepts and, and ideas and stories just based on the way I'm able to present them and the energy that I push out there. And I was even given an excellent compliment just yesterday telling me um, that I have an effective marketing. I have effective means of presenting myself to where others are able to understand it. So, you know, I just love the fact that I'm doing something and I'm having the ability to um, affect other people in a positive manner. So I want to get right into it. And uh, what I wanted to discuss in this particular video, which will be short, is um, ineffective or unacceptable motivational tools or um, unacceptable motivational reasons for being wealthy. It's just unacceptable. How about this? Fear is not acceptable. Anger is not acceptable. Just having the will or the want to prove something or prove that you belong, uh, that you deserve to be ri rich or wealthy, or just just the, the fact that you want to prove something. Those are, in my opinion, are unacceptable ways or uh, reasons to be wealthy. And I can say that because I felt that way. I felt as though I had to prove something. It wasn't that I was ever really taught about wealth. I was never told that it to, uh, to be rich or not to be rich. It was just what you saw is people were seemed to be working hard and, and never had money. Or when they did have money, they would spend it frivolously. And before you know it, they were back to working 40, 50 hours a week. So it was a constant uh, struggle. So, and I never had the person to sit down and talk to me about money and how to do this and savings and all of those type of things. So when I became older or as I grew, um, I've always wanted to have something. And after so long, you get tired of being told no. So I went out of my way to find ways to bring in income as early as 12 years old, 10, 12 years old. I lied about my age and I was actually hired for a job and the lady called my mother, um, and said, I just happened to give her number, not thinking that this person would call, but she did call. And my mother was like, you know, he's only 12 years old. He can't work legally, you know, or 13, whatever I was. It was not a legal thing. So I was fired before I actually even started, which is still funny to me. But it was the thought. I tried. I made an effort. So I did a number of things to help me financially at a very young age. That I just paid cash. I, I was paid cash. I worked at a bar, cleaned up a bar for for a while, for a year or two. Um, every Saturday morning, every Saturday, and sometimes on Sundays mornings, I would help clean up a bar and get paid for it. But you know, that was just one of the things, and and I just had this necessity that came to mind to have to prove myself. That's no longer in effect. I want to be wealthy for more reasons that are more effective and they're positive reasons. And it goes past just the family. One of my biggest goals in life is to be able to go onto a block in an urban neighborhood and just buy as many properties as possible. Completely refurbish the homes, remodel the homes, and then have an educational opportunity for those people that are from that neighborhood to allow them to come back in, not only help them financially, but change this. Love yourself. Love your neighborhood. Be uh, more productive as far as the things that you would do to keep your neighborhood in existence as well as your property. So there will be some tutorials and some instructionals that will come along with that. So that's one of the main reasons I prefer to be wealthy. Is because I understand that there's something called a cause and effect, the law of cause and effect. I understand that there's something called the law of reciprocity. I understand that what you put out, it comes back. Some people call it karma. I don't care what you call it, whatever is best for you. But with that, um, I really believe that 
we need to make the changes necessarily mentally to get rid of those uh, those conditions, those wants to be rich or wealthy that are unacceptable. Time is a small conversation corner. Click the link below. Come on with me, join with me, and let's start making some changes in not only our lives but everyone else's lives because this train is not stopping. Click the link below. Out.